Uh, just a quick explanation on fitting and refitting the chain brake assembly on our chainsaws. On first assembly, or if you ever need to remove the chain brake to access the chain or the bar, you'll need to obviously refit the chain brake. There's two positions, locked and unlocked. If you try and fit the chain brake in the locked position, well, it's in the locked position, it will not refit properly. There's a small picture that shows which direction is locked and unlocked. And that's the click noise. It's now in the locked position. This band is in a smaller position and it will lock onto the clutch assembly. If you try and fit it while it's in the locked position, so it'll lever it forward. The cover will go on, but it will be kicked up at the rear. And if you have a look at the clutch assembly and the chain brake bar, oh sorry, the chain brake band, it will not cover the clutch properly. You'll need to have it in the open position, which is with the black lever towards the rear of the saw. It can take quite a lot of force to disengage the brake, but when it does, you'll feel it click back, and you'll have a little bit of free play. So, forward is locked, can't move the handle at all. The rearward takes a bit of force to disengage. Once it does, you'll then have some free play. Once it's in the disengaged position, you can then fit it onto the saw. Cover will go on. You may need to check this pin for the adjuster. It needs to line up with the pin hole in the chain blade. If it doesn't line up, the cover won't go on flush and smooth. You can check it by simply looking into the assembly and you'll see the pin drop into the hole. This will sit reasonably flush and you'll be ready to attach your nuts. You don't want to do these nuts up fully tight yet because we'll need to adjust the chain. So just finger tight will do. Okay, once you've got the locking bolts and nuts done up, just finger tight, we can then adjust the chain. In this case, the chain is way too loose. To adjust it, simply use your small flat screwdriver into the adjuster screw, which is on the front of the chain brake. As you screw the adjuster in, you'll notice that the chain starts to, or well, the slack starts to reduce. And you want it so that there's approximately a little bit of slack, but you can't actually pull the chain out of the bar. You can then tighten up your locking nuts. Never handle the chain without your safety gloves on. I can turn the chain by hand. This is a brand new saw, so once you've used it for a while, it will become a lot smoother and easier to turn. Everything feels tight. I engage the chain brake. The chain cannot be moved. Disengage. The chain can be turned and you'll have free play in your chain brake. On, locked, off, has free play, chain can turn. With our chainsaws, they've got an adjustable flow rate for the bar lubricating oil. To adjust it, there is a screw located in the bottom of the saw. When it's new, it'll have a small piece of foam covering the screw head. Um, just remove the foam out of the way, you can just take it off with a screwdriver. Insert your screwdriver, find the slot, screwing it in will reduce the flow rate, screwing it out will increase it. There's only a few clicks adjustment, it's about a quarter of a turn. If you get your saw and you find that you're not getting enough oil, obviously open up the flow rate. If you're getting too much oil and it's making a mess, obviously reduce the flow rate. 
This is just a quick demonstration on starting our chainsaws. Before you start, make sure the chain brake is on and push that lever forward. Chain brake off, on, you can't move the chain. Step, have the choke in the cold position, which in this case is pull it out, and you'll feel it click into position. You can check that it's on, just disengaged. Pull it out and it will click. Make sure your ignition switch is set to on or run, which is up. Next step, I place my foot on the little platform there to hold the saw down. And just a few vigorous pulls of the start, recoil starter. When you hear it kick like that, you can then pull the trigger and disengage the clutch and the short, that saw should start.